Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you've all had a good week so far. In today's video, I'm doing something a bit different, which you've probably guessed from the video thumbnail. Today, I'm designing a cartoon avatar of myself, which I plan on using for video thumbnails and maybe other projects or fun stuff on this channel in the future. Now this idea is nothing new, especially if you follow a certain Jazza from Draw With Jazza, and there are no doubt many other artists on YouTube who have done the same, but I thought it would be something new for this channel and would be a great way for me to practice my drawing skills, line work and have fun with things like drawing different facial expressions and so on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon as well if you'd like to be notified each time I upload a new video. So for my avatar, I wanted to create something that was fairly simple and fairly quick to draw, as I will need to draw a new pose or expression fairly easily for each new video thumbnail that I make. It also needed to look a bit like me. Now, if you fancy having a go at cartooning yourself, I do have a video I did about 100 years ago with some hints and tips on how you can do this, but please remember it is a very old video and was one of the first ones I ever did on YouTube, but it might be worth a laugh if nothing else, and I'll link it in the card above. Anyway, as you can see, I'm using just pretty cheap sketch paper and a red colour pencil for my initial sketch, and I thought my Art Cadets avatar could have a large oval shaped head and a rough rectangle shape for the top half of the body. I wanted to start with these basic shapes in the beginning, just to map out the size and proportions I thought I'd use for my character, but you can choose whatever shapes and proportions you like in your drawings and that's part of the fun of creating your own cartoon because you get to choose what style you want to use. Roughly speaking though, the head I've drawn is about a quarter of the total character's height, the top part of the body takes up another quarter and the bottom and legs take up the final half. With this done, I then drew some rough guidelines horizontally and vertically over my oval shaped head to give me a rough idea of where the facial features like the eyes, nose and mouth were going to go. I also put in some stick arms which I would fill out later on. Then it was time to put in some fun facial features and try and make this character look a bit more like me. Sometimes it can be difficult to pick out your own characteristic facial features so it can help to look in the mirror or to look at a photo of yourself. For me though, the main distinguishing accessory on my face is my glasses. Other things you might look at are mouth shapes, nose and eye shapes and of course hairstyle, shape and colour. At this point I also made a few adjustments to my face shape as I think my face is more square than round. With that done it was time to move on to filling out the arms and oh boy did that take some work. I definitely need more practice drawing arms and hands. The arm on the left side turned out okay, but my first attempt on the other arm went a bit wrong as I drew the forearm way too long compared with the other arm. So it did take a few attempts and it's still not quite right, but with a bit more practice hopefully I'll improve. Next I decided to outline my avatar with a black fine liner to make it stand out and look more cartoony, and once this was done I could rub out the pencil sketch underneath to clean up the drawing. To finish off my Arctic's avatar, instead of using coloured pencils or markers to add colour, I thought I'd go for a black and white pencil shading to add contrast. I thought that as I was going to use this sketch to make a thumbnail for this video, it would stand out more being black and white against a coloured background, so I used an HP pencil and a blending stump to add some shadows as well as an eraser to pull out some highlights. With the shading, I made sure to hold my pencil quite far back and at an angle to use the side of the pencil lead rather than the point and this would ensure I added light even layers and didn't go in too dark straight away. 
the areas I wanted to concentrate on were those where there would be natural shadows, such as under the hairline, under the chin and head, under my glasses, and on the undersides of the arms. I also added some darker pencil to the areas like the splat on the t-shirt and the paintbrush as well as the shoes later on. Once the first layer was down I went in with my blender to smooth out the shading but if you want to try this at home and haven't got one of these you can use a cotton bud or tissue or if you really want to you can make your own tortillons and I have a video out on how to do this and we'll link this in the card above as well. Then it was just a case of adding another layer of pencil to those darker areas, adding a few details to my hair and pulling out a few highlights on my glasses with an eraser and this architect's avatar was complete. Now I know it's not perfect but I did have a lot of fun drawing it and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and feel free to drop a comment in the box below. I do read and respond to all of them and really appreciate your support. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!